I'm pretty sure I mentioned Notion in about 80% of my videos. How I use my planner on the day to day to help me organize Honestly, like most aspects of my life, it's kind of crazy what you can do with this software. And I think one of the most asked questions I get is, Becca, how the hell do I use Notion? Or Becca, how the hell do I use your template? And I am so excited to bring you guys this video. And what's even more exciting is that Notion themselves are actually sponsoring this video, which is like such an incredible honor. I've been dabbling with Notion for, I think like over a year now, but I only made a template that worked for me and I actually got serious with it for like, about six months now. Guys, it has changed the game. There are so many ways to customize it so that it kind of fits your aesthetic. If somehow you've never heard of Notion, Notion is this all-in-one productivity platform. It is the number one tool I use to maximize productivity. I absolutely do not think it is solely for students or like business owners. Notion 100% can be utilized by everyone. It can help bring organization into like every aspect of your life, whether it's your monthly goals, you want to organize your watch list, your meals for the week, what books you've read. And also whenever I talk to people about Notion in real life, there seems to be this common misconception that you cannot get started on it without paying. This is not true, guys. They do have different plans, but I use the free version. The free version is amazing. It is just the perfect place for like personal organization or it's also an excellent tool for like team collaboration. And so to get started on Notion for free, click the link in my description bar for free, guys. Start taking control of your organization. I completely get it. I've been that person who's completely new to Notion. You open it and you're like, okay, where do I begin? What do I do? It is not as complicated as it seems. Just get started. Something will click and you will groove with it and you will love it. So obviously once you've created your account, where I recommend starting is either deciding if you kind of want to build out your own template or something I know is super useful is downloading a template and kind of going from there, you can customize it. So I know Notion have several different templates available or for example, I sell my own template, which I will remember to link below as well, which is kind of just like a general life planner, very much designed for beginners, people who are new to Notion. So I'm gonna walk through that template with you guys in this video. Okay, so let's say you have gone down the route of finding a template you like. This is my one that's available to purchase. So you should be taken to this page. You just wanna hit duplicate and then you can duplicate it across to whatever workspace. So I recommend that you obviously sign up for Notion first and then it should look something like this. I just love how much creative freedom you have with Notion to make it look exactly how you want. So this is kind of the default how my one comes, but let me run you through some of the basics. So you can see on the sidebar here, this is the sidebar, basically where you can have an overview of all your pages. You can see them all in one, so you can quickly like jump to one. And then of course you have like all your little icons as well. Um, I, I'm pretty sure all, all of mine are GIFs, which I know is gonna not work for everyone. So don't worry, there is absolutely the option to just have a still image or emoji, but we'll get into that. Basics, you can add a page. That's what a new page will look like and you can kind of build everything from scratch. And then Notion's templates are down there on the bottom of the sidebar. So you can easily just click get template and it will like copy it across. You can also hide the little sidebar away. Little features like that, there is a lot to this platform. I'm not gonna run through every single feature because I think this video would literally be about five hours long. So from the general aspects of customizing your page, you can go to the three dots at the top right. And here are your kind of like three main font styles. So you can go default. Um, I personally really like serif. It's just what I prefer. And then there's also mono, which is a cool vibe if you like that. You can adjust the font size, there's small, and then I also like things to be on full width, so there's a quick look at it not being um, full width, and it kind of like brings it all into the middle. You can duplicate the page, there's just so much you can do. The very first thing I like to start with is setting an icon and a little cover, and also like obviously the title of the page, so. And then for the icon, you have the option to either go with like emojis, or these little icons that Notion have, there's literally something for everything. Like, or you can custom, which is what I've done. So I have got this little GIF off of a website called giphy.com, I believe. Giphy.com. And then what I obviously typed, oh, that's not how you spell plant. Um, let's say you want something like that. You can go copy image address, go back to your little icon, go custom, 
submit and then there you go obviously this does not fit properly you'd have to play around with it a little bit but that's one thing you can do or i quite like the website flat icon they have even more icons there's just so many ways to customize this for the cover all you got to do is click change cover and then notion actually have a lot that you can just select there so there's a bunch of colors there's I don't know, tons of images, like these are quite cool. There's also Unsplash, which I imagine is kind of just like stock photos. And then same kind of thing, you can either link like a copy address or you can upload, which is what I've done. I've made this little like banner in Canva. I made this kind of like aura thing myself and then I just played around with the font. Since this is my homepage, it's the thing I'm gonna kind of see like first every day. Its primary purpose is kind of to look pretty, but also to have purpose. Like I want it to have my priorities for the day on here, the quick links to all the other pages, um, and like a calendar view. I've put a little quote in here. Don't tell them your plans, show them your results. This is just something like I constantly stand by. Next to every single like individual part, there are these six little dots and also a plus. The plus basically creates like a space below it. And then the three little dots gives you like this option menu. So, so you can just see what you can do with it, etc. And so you can turn them into like different blocks. You can see this is a quote. But if I wanted to make it a call out, it would change Oh gosh, it would change to that. To do this, there's headings if I wanted it to look different. Like there's no rules. There's obviously these set things to kind of guide you and help. Also, you can like highlight the text. I've italicized the second part of the quote. And then as you can see here, since we are literally looking at the template of what you get from my planner. So I like to include all these little notes that kind of guide you throughout my entire template. So you know what to do with it. But what I'm gonna show you from here is this is has like a little do you call this like a little call out button basically where it extends out and then you can see these are a few of the websites that again i'll link below that i find really useful when it comes to like customizing my page something i use a lot is the color so so you can change the color of the text of the background then scrolling down here i i don't know green makes me happy so i went for two very green aesthetic kind of images these are just off of pinterest and it is literally by, so for example, if I go down here and I always use the forward slash key on my keyboard as a shortcut to just bring up all the block options. And then you can literally just type in what you're after. So if I want an image, you can upload an image from your laptop, etc. Oh, this is really random. This is just something I had saved. It's a thumbnail. Um, so it will import it kind of similar to the size it is and then you can adjust it you can also sort out where you want it to be which is very handy and then all the blocks kind of have like columns so you can kind of like fit them in for example if I want to this is gonna look really bad but if I want to put it in the middle in between those that's how I would do that and then here I have a little call out thing and then a list below I go in every day and I put in my top three priorities for the day things that I absolutely need to get done that day then these are widgets widgets this is where you can have fun i have a weather widget which has just looked a bit miserable for the past few months i also have this widget below that connects to a spotify playlist and it does literally just play and then here's my little weather widget so this is from this website here this is where i get all my widgets this is where you can get really creative you can add in quotes um like this life progress bar weather google calendar etc let me show you say i want this little widget you can adjust it here play around with it and then here's your little embed code so you would go over to your notion planner i've literally just copied the link in and then you want to go create embed and it should pull up the quote just like that you can adjust the size play around with it insert it wherever you want so then here i've got quick links to all of the pages and then i also have this big monthly calendar normally i would populate this but since this is like a plain template you can't see what i'm up to this month there's a random book gif because I wanted it there and then a little habit tracker so for me like every single day i want to take my AG1 in the morning, I want to 
read 15, for 15 minutes. Like think of three basic healthy habits that you absolutely can do every single day. And then it is just, it's a little boost of dopamine when you go in at the end of the day and you take these off. Okay, there you go. That is a very basic run through of how I made that homepage. Let's get into the meat of this planner. First page, my planner, actual like to-do list section. So again, I just set my little icon, my cover. So how I've structured this is categorized to-do lists. So I like to have like today's section at the top of the page and I've got quick ticks, must do's, projects, personal. On a perfect day, I will fill this out like the night before and then this will be filled out for me in the morning and I just can crack on with my day. Like I know, I know what I need to do, whether I'm in the mood to start the easy stuff first or jump into projects. The must do's are what you see on the homepage. Projects, like the big things that aren't gonna take one day, it's just kind of like what you're working on for the week, etc. And then personal, because I don't like to have personal like mixed in with work. Daily time block. This is a little table that I made. It runs from six in the morning until 11 p.m. at night to how you want to structure your day, what you want your day to look like. For me, I just like to split up my day into like morning, afternoon, evening. It helps me be realistic with time management, like how long a task is actually gonna take me. And then here I have my little weekly section. It's just like a weekly overview so I can quickly go like, oh, what's you on Wednesday, etc. And then my general to-do list. You're gonna see I do have like a brain dump section, which is basically like the notes app but I do like to have a general to-do list here because it's not super urgent but like I can pull it from there and just put it into okay I'll get that done on Thursday and then a big monthly calendar next page is my journal digital journaling and digital diary entries etc really works for some people so this is absolutely an option for you I built out these little journal entries and then also this like dream log section because I think that's just kind of cute. And if you don't like it, like you can delete it. You just go into the month you're in, you'll add a journal entry here. And then this is a pre-populated page that I've designed. And here are some prompts. Use this how you like. There's the uh, three things I'm grateful for. So I put it in list form. Healthy habits I want to keep up today. Something I will do as a form of self-care. And then the dream log. That's the dream log there. Just space for you to use it however you want. Self-improvement goals, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a goals page. Again, I thought it'd be appropriate to have a cute little quote, cute little collage from Canva. And then this is how I have structured. I love this page. It helps me feel like way more accountable when you actually set goals. It's an easy way to go back and track. So first up is your weekly goals, the kind of short term things you're working on. So I put as an example, like say you want to work out four times a week. Here are your bigger monthly goals. I've split them into three categories, work, financial, and personal. And again, it's these little toggle lists. So you can go click down and then there are your goals. Then at the end of the month, check in on this page and see if you did manage. 2022 reflection, but this doesn't have to be for 2022 now. You can absolutely ref use this to reflect on the past month. Here are just some prompts like proudest moments, etc. And then your goals, resolutions, and 2023 wish list, places to visit, recipes, books, etc. Notion allows you the ability to build out like whole pages just solely dedicated to like your travel wish list or a book tracker. So this is just a little like simplified approach to get you started. Habit tracker. I have to say most of my inspiration behind this one was um, Notion already have like a really good simple habit tracker template that you can download so I kind of worked off of that. Yeah, it's just a really simple table that is designed for you to have a really good overview of the main healthy habits, let's say, that you want to do every single week and you want to be able to see how many days of the week did I actually manage it. So this is what works for me. I've got like movement, seven hours of sleep, vitamins, journal, read, and yeah, I don't know. I just like how you can like tick away and it makes you feel good. You can like move them around put in and you can edit the name. You can put in a little emoji. There are actually so many ways to kind of edit it. Next page, brain dump. Like I said, basically a replacement for my notes app because I have a section for just random scribbles and I have this section for specific notes. And then this board view. I really like this feature where you can categorize your notes. 
and then you just click it and out comes this little side page. You can build like a whole other page in here. It, that is what this is, it's a whole other page just connected to this database, this project. I wanted to keep this simple and that's why this is like a beginner friendly template. And then I have this whole database here, which is a very basic example of how you can organize your, your projects, your work system, all of that. So I've done the example here of say you have a website launch, you can create the different properties. So like it's due date, then it's connected to this, the task management board that I've created. And it's split up into not started, in progress, overdue and completed. It absolutely helps me stay on track. You can also view this in different ways. So there is a table option, morning routine, here we go back to a really relatively simple page that I've designed. I just think it's nice to bring in lifestyle into this planner. So I've put down like in this to-do list, this check-off list, my dream steps of a morning routine and skincare steps. And then I've put in a GIF and this little collage and it all looks kind of cute. I've done the same for my evening routine and also reset routine because I find it actually really helps for having a reset day, like having these little prompts. Uh, let's talk about finance and how I have built out this page. Here is like your top summary finances. I think this is a good like beginner level if you're someone who is new to tracking finances, kind of wants to get better, like saving, just having a clear view of your, like your income and your outgoings. And then down here is the monthly finance planner. Something I really like is how you can add categories. You literally just type in, I don't know why I'm typing health. Let's say that's a category you want and you just type it in you can give it a color and then here you can have a really clear like overview of the year your income your outgoings here i add this in a little wish list i can see it all here and i can see how much it like all totals up to and i'm like oh yeah well that can be next month that's more of a priority than that just a little system that helps me save money travel board this is all designed to help you organize your travel plans um, so I've created again this little database with this like gallery view and then I like how you can put in the different um, categories so you can put in the date whether it's booked or not and then it clicks through to this page where you can basically organize your whole trip like say you are that kind of type A person vision board say you want to do a little vision board for each month of the year just like what's What's the energy for that month? What do you want from that month? And then I just have a one for the year that summarizes the year. Then the rest of my planner is just things to help you. So there's resources there. There you go. I have given you guys a full blown tour, the full blown walkthrough of my Notion planner that helps me stay organized. Remember Notion is free. I recommend just giving it a go, seeing if it works for you. I love Notion, I know you guys will too. If you do get started with them, make sure to message me. Let me know how you're getting on. Tag me on Instagram. Let's go on this journey together of becoming organized queens who use Notion. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.